Let's remember all those who gave their lives for our freedom in the USA this year on Memorial Day. Remember and honor. Hey everybody, I'm Susie and this is Susie's Stuff. Welcome to station KDIY channel 146, home of quick, easy, affordable, and always fun DIYs. Today is all about Memorial Day and creating some decor that will reflect this honorable day. And these pieces will also take you right into the 4th of July. I'll be using supplies from Dollar Tree and Walmart. Come on! Starting out, I grabbed these bamboo rings from Dollar Tree. They came in two sizes in this pack. I'm also using all kinds of patriotic ribbon from Walmart and Dollar Tree. Whatever you can find in your crafting stuff. So I just kind of laid it out how I wanted it to go and then I just hot glued it around the ring like this. I think you can tell what I'm creating, a patriotic windsock. I love these so much and they are so easy to throw together. I added some twine in three areas and then I'm gonna add some wooden beads. You can add some colored beads, lots of beads, a few beads, or none at all, whatever you would like. I just added three on each one of the twine strings. So have fun with it, and then when you are finished, it's ready to fly in the wind. Woohoo! And here it is outside at my mom's place. I just hung it on one of her clotheslines out there, and of course it wasn't very windy. <laughs> And then I started taking pictures and then when I shot the still boy the wind was a going and here it is I just love all of these colors it is so festive so beautiful for Memorial Day and right into 4th of July you have to make one What patriotic day would be complete without an Uncle Sam? The sticks are red and white and the chunky piece is navy. And I hot glued it all together just like this and I added an extra stick behind it to give it some strength. It's looking like a hat. I'll trim the extra stick hanging out, but leave the extra part under the rim because I will use that to glue on his beard. I always grab these flower sack towels from Dollar Tree. They are great for all kinds of uses, especially an Uncle Sam beard. So all I need to do is just cut it about the length that I think the beard will need, and then I'm going to cut strips. I want it to look kind of raggedy. And then I'm gonna glue about Oh, one, two, three layers of beard. You'll see. So grab your glue gun and lots of glue sticks and get ready to glue, glue, glue. I use one of these silicone spatulas to help with this step. I want the beard to be super thick. do glue on about three layers there and so now this is a great technique to sort of separate each of them to really look like a beard is I just grab some uh, Mod Podge and rub it in my fingers and then twist it around each strand this is not really great for a manicure <laughs> I need to get one super bad but it is great to make this beard I love it and um, it just really separates it and makes it look really really thick and great for an Uncle Sam Didn't that turn out great all right next step is I grabbed this little stencil from Dollar Tree. It's got stars on it. You could hot glue some stars if you have them, some wooden stars, whatever you like. But I just wanted to do a little stenciling with some white paint and this little round flat brush. Mm -hmm. 
You can leave it just like this, but I'm gonna use a sander to uh, give it a little bit of rustic look on the edges. And I wanted to share really quick this awesome uh, finger sander thingy that I got on um, Amazon, and I'll link it down below. It comes with these little strips of sandpaper, and you can see all the little grit numbers on there. And you just take it off, it's got Velcro on it, and you can peel it off and interchange what you want to use. So I think it's so awesome. It does a huge job for a little project. Don't you love it? And I'm finishing up with that last part of the sanding. I do cut off the top to make it squared off. I like that look a little bit better, just a preference. You can leave on the curl top or the curvy tops. Um, the last thing I'm going to need for him is a little nose. These are some wooden beads I picked up at Walmart. I did add a hanger and then I'm trying to decide which bow to use. I think I ended up using both of them, but which one do you like the best? I love the rustic uh, burlap look and then I had some striped ribbon as well. Which one do you like? I think that he is so cute and I think maybe no bow whatever you think I love how he turned out and I love that this piece can also go towards the 4th of July celebration time so you can leave him up for maybe a little while and uh, he's so easy to put together just grab all those supplies and in no time you'll have your own Uncle Sam for this next project, you'll need three of these small grapevine wreaths from Dollar Tree and two of the bigger rectangle signs. And using some giant popsicle sticks, just glue it all together like this. I had a little gap in mine because I didn't squeeze it together, but I just filled it up with some Dollar Tree spackle and sanded it out and it worked out perfectly. Here comes a couple of coats of white chalk paint, and then I'm using some black acrylic paint to give it a distressed look. Then we'll sand that down. And as you see this project coming together, you can use any board that you have around the house, a piece of wood, whatever that you like, because what we're making is a USA sign. And to create the letters USA, I'm using these grapevine wreaths. You have to have a little muscle to kind of shape it the way that you want it. And you need a good pair of clipping, cutting pliers to get through it. And so I am going to make sure that the twine stays around it because that's what's kind of holding it all together. And then you'll make sure and hot glue the twine around. I do add a little bit more extra twine to make sure that it is sturdy. And this one is becoming the U. And you can see there, I just go over it a few times and that end is done. And so I'm just kind of measuring, just eyeballing it and cutting it where I think it should be. And we'll do the same to that end. And I'm using these needle nose pliers. They really came in handy to sort of break some of those vines in there. I had to put it against my body to kind of squeeze it together and shape it. But this one came out really, really well. Here is the A. I just made another U and then I just added a piece in the center there. And you don't have to uh, add the 
twine here. I just did because it made it look a little uniform, but the hot glue really does stand up. And so I just added that. Now we'll get to the S. All right, so the S is not all that tricky. Um, it's just how you glue it down. So I just cut like a long piece. I think this was one wreath and I just cut it open and sort of shaped it again with my needle nose pliers. And then the hot glue is what's gonna really keep its shape onto the board. So you can see here, uh, whatever board that you wanna use. Um, this came out so cute. Okay, so I have this ribbon that is an American flag ribbon, love it. Got it at uh, Walmart. And I'm using it just on the end, just a little touch. And it came in handy to cover up those holes. And this is pretty much it. Oh yeah, I added some twine uh, around that. And here's a raffia bow if you like that or no bow at all but I just love how this turned out it really was easy to put together and you can set it on a shelf or hang it just add a hanger in the back I love it those uh, grapevine wreaths are fun to shape into different letters using them for like initials that would be cool but have fun creating yours I think that you'll enjoy it just make sure you have the right tools some cutting tools and some bending tools whether it's Memorial Day, 4th of July, um, Veterans Day I know you'll enjoy this DIY have fun Coming up on number four, this is going to be a very cool glass pebble flag using this 8x10 frame from Dollar Tree and all these glass pebbles from Walmart. I like these pebbles because they are a little bit bigger and they are 98 cents, saving myself a quarter, yay! I'm also using these four pieces of wood from Dollar Tree. They're the thinner cut and I'm using uh, just the glass only from the frame. And then I'm going to be uh, gluing it together with this really good premium wood glue. I added some hot glue here to keep the, the glass part straight for me. And then we'll put the other pieces of wood right on top of the other one so that the glass is in between both pieces of wood on the top and the bottom. I use those handy dandy pink clips. They actually weren't big enough, so I changed them. I got the those clamps that you get over in the hardware section, those were much better. Um, but I did let it sit for about an hour just to make sure that it's all dry and stuck together and it really is sturdy. Next, you'll just grab your pebbles and lay them all out in your flag pattern. I just used some hot glue for now, but I did go back and use some E6000 on a few of them because I did wiggle them and they will pop off if you just use hot glue. Um, but this turned out really well. The only thing is the end of the stripes. I wish they would have been a little more even, but they weren't and it's okay. But you'll see here in just a little bit how it all turns out. And also as I was working, I did use E6000. I think I said that before. And then I painted the wood with this uh, plaster chalk paint and I added a piece of wood on the back. And I just used uh, wood glue for that, wood glue and hot glue. No, it's ivory, not plaster. <laughs> so anyway, I painted all of that and it just made the most beautiful stand. Now I'm using these lights. Now these are the puck lights that have the remote. I got those from Amazon, but I did end up using the taller lights. They just illuminated a little bit better. And all of those links that where I got the lights are uh, from Amazon and I'll link it down below. And look how well it came out. And here we go, one, two, three. How beautiful. I love this piece. It was so fun. I learned a lot 
from working with this one. I may change those clear pebbles to round pebbles. You could also add some words on the top and the bottom if you like. But this was just a fun project to play with and see what was going to happen. I just love how it turned out. How will yours turn out? And for my last project for today, I'm making a wreath. Everyone has to have a beautiful wreath on their door for Memorial Day. And the focal point of this wreath will be the bow. I'm going to make a gigantic bow. So pick out your favorite patriotic patterns for your ribbon. All mine came from Walmart. And I went with some glittery, sparkly colors. Next, I'm going to cut them all in about 28 to 30 inches long. And I ducktail them on all of them. Everything's ready, let's make a bow. All right, so I just grab a color and I just make a loop and that's it. Scrunch it in between your fingers and just keep going. Now, this scrunch is giving it two tails at the bottom where you can scrunch it more to the top and leave just one tail, whichever you prefer. I just wanted a bunch of streamers coming out of this bow. If you wanna see how Dave from Dave's recent things, my friend, he makes great bows and I'm gonna leave his link to how to make his bows at the bottom. He does a great job. So I just keep going along, making a loop and scrunching it in the middle and I'll do the primping and the fluffing later on. So I'm just getting all this taken care of and I'm gonna secure it with a zip tie. That will keep it secure and nothing will fall apart. It comes out looking like an octopus, don't you think? It's got this top head and all these tentacles down below. I do end up having to trim some of them. Um, you'll see here, I hot glued it on and I just had to trim some of them to where they would uh, lay perfectly. Everything is poofed and ready to go. I hot glued it on the wreath and now I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Oh, these beautiful glitter stars from Dollar Tree. I wasn't expecting to use them. I was going to spray paint them for another project, but they were laying there and I'm like, oh, they look perfect for this wreath. And so to add a little bit of greenery, I got this uh, fern. I had ordered it from that TMU uh, website. I'll link it down below as well. Um, but I had ordered a couple of things. I was trying it out. It's okay. I like it. It's all right. It doesn't come as fast as you think it's going to come, but it's got some good items on Team U. But anyway, I'm adding some greenery here and there, and I'm not hot gluing it in because it stays really well in there. So I can use this greenery uh, again for something else if I want to take it apart. So that's pretty much it. Isn't it gorgeous? I love this wreath. It's on my door right now. And uh, I, it needed a word. And so I just put, uh, got those galvanized words from Dollar Tree. And I just painted it white and added that right on there. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, I just love all those colors. And let me tell you, I'm not a real fan of glitter, but this was worth it and special for Memorial Day. I love how this came together. I'm so glad to be with you today and I hope you got lots of inspiration to create your own DIYs. Don't forget to click that thumbs up button and leave me a comment down below. I love hearing from you. I've got more projects coming up, so stay tuned. I'll see you next time on Susie's Stuff, station KDIY, channel 146. Bye everybody.